Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of City Bus Manager with me, Tops. Last episode we left off, I said I was going to be redesigning some of the bus, uh, the bus uh, depot. I have, so if I pause the game, uh, we've got all of the single deckers here, all lower, all short wheel bases up to number 57, all lined up. We now have a row down here of all of... The long wheelbase buses, which is up to number 74. We have all the double deckers over here now, up to 99. Uh, with, and I've renumbered them all so that O, oh, so that'll be 099, 098, and so on. Uh, just because we're going to be getting 100 and obviously filling this up with double deckers at some point. Uh, possibly not today, though, because today we're going to be looking at our upgrade to Preston now you can see I've had a lot of bus routes in that go around all here and some that go into Preston as well now, I don't think I'll be able to get all of them operational today but they all go to Preston bus station we'll open our routes and we have added in the 61 the 68 the 74 and 75 so all those four go to Preston the 76 and 78 are between Blackpool and St. Anne's and St. Anne's and somewhere up here, Great right, Eccleston. So we've got the bus routes in place for all of them. We are awaiting upgrade north to add in um, Lancaster. Uh, but for now, we're going to start adding these bus routes in so obviously it's the end of the night right now we have nearly a million in the bank and these buses let's just show you the timetable they run every half an hour and they're long wheelbase buses same with the 74 which if we show the timetable again they're every half an hour apart from sundays where they're every hour or every 45 minutes now every 45 minutes well on a sunday as i've changed it yeah so they're every 40 uh, oh wait yeah so 45 every 45 minutes yeah uh with some out starting at one location and obviously we shuffle it over and some finish off at Bolton as well uh so yeah these two buses are single decker single long wheel based buses these two are single decker short wheel based buses you kind of see that go all the way around that way uh this one obviously it's up this way and up to here uh if we had a look at 74 it starts up at uh, fleetwood goes all the way through these little villages all the way to preston 75 all the way through preston but through Kirk uh, kirkham and uh in area all the way and then Cleveland's up to there they both have a midpoint at Polton here good and then these two this one is uh, Blackpool Preston through Kirkham this one is Blackpool to Preston through Lytham and St. Anne's so these two are double deckers which we don't have any double deckers left because I have gone through and upgraded all of the line 6 deckers uh, because basically, I've I was out and about in Blackpool, and I saw that some of the line sixes were now double deckers. So I thought I'll make all of our bus double deckers. It makes them more uh, obviously they're every twenty minutes, which is more frequent. Uh, a lot more buses uh, will get utilised then. Do we actually have any? We don't have any line sixes on route at the moment because of the time. Uh, we need to optimise our line seven routes. And by optimise our line 7 route, we need to make them every 20 minutes instead of every half an hour. But if we look at the timetable, not that timetable, if we edit the timetable here, I did it very custom. Um, and I need to get that edited so it's not custom uh, as custom. But we're going to attempt to activate the 74, which is through this way. Uh, no, yeah, we're going to attempt to activate this route for tomorrow. I'm going to attempt to activate this route for tomorrow as well. Now, 
I literally have to. I have no clue if we've got enough buses for them. We are missing solo buses. So I'm going to have to go and buy more solo buses and we'll put solo buses down here. Uh, which is pretty simple to do. We just need to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we should hopefully have enough for 12 solo buses. Uh, we could get these. In fact, they're not even the ones we need the 11.5 meters, and we can buy 10 of them right now. So we buy 10. We play, we pause, and then we buy two more. And that means we should actually be able to turn on this route as well. 75. Let's get that on. Let's speed it up so these buses coming in. Park up. Close these up for now. Just watch all these buses fil filter in and fill up. There we go. Just a quick look. That one was number 74. Let me get named these and put them in the slots uh, to make sure they're, they're parking slots. And we will be back when that is done. And there we go. 59 solo buses. Let's make sure we can automatically sign in a sign. And I literally have not enough buses left. And I don't have enough bus drivers. Uh, so first things first, bus sta staff, employees, bus drivers, make sure the Fred limits are in the green. They don't have enough bus drivers. Oh. They don't have enough bus drivers. Wow, we're getting a lot of bus drivers to go. Why do I still not have enough bus We've got plenty of bus drivers, it's just... We've got 210 bus drivers. Is that going to be enough? No. Yes. But we don't have enough buses, apparently. We should have enough solo buses. I might just have to do some jiggery pokery and edit all the times, as I have done in the past. Let me get all that done. Hopefully, we've got enough buses for all the bus drivers. And I'll be back as soon as I've got it all sorted. And we're back. So I managed to get them all done. And we still have five buses left. So that's uh, all the short wheelbase is done. Right, all the buses are in. Uh, let's just see on this, on here, how many mini buses do we have left? So we've got two, three, four. So if we were was to activate, this, do we have enough solo buses to activate? Oh, we have to have to redo all the solo buses again. Um, so we should have enough buses to do that. Um, we don't need any more solo buses here. Well, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab six of those. Then let's go straight in and buy six minibuses. Go. 
go. So then if we go automatically, we don't have enough bus drivers again. So let's put, get more bus drivers. I literally only had enough for two. I need more lockers. Let me get that all sorted. How do I edit this one? Uh, probably someone's coming to get the bus. We'll use this. Okay. No. Right. Either way, you know, add all them in there. These should all be pull pulling up over here. That was... That would be 60. Let me get all these named. And then once all these are named... And that thing is moved, we should be all set for the day. And then all we've got to worry about is getting more double-decker buses. everything else okay so all those buses are numbered it's all good all the buses are scheduled for today and for tomorrow as well they all automatically go in it's great i don't think we've got any double deckers that hasn't got anything on any buses that haven't got anything on no so we literally have just enough. We've got a few open tops that are free and all the solar buses so they get everything on. Yeah. So we literally have something on everything. Quite a lot to be fair. But we've now turned on four more bus routes and we're waiting on these two which are going to be double deckers. And I don't actually think I've got enough double deckers for them for now. But we do have in, well, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 10, 11, 12, 13 more spaces for double deckers. Which should cover us for the 61 and the uh, 68. Anything after that, we're going to have to send to a different depot. But I could always just put a depot opposite or find out where the bus in Preston, bus depot in Preston is for those buses. Um... We also have a research, so we can research bus wear and tear. We need to research the bus app development when we get 50,000. Uh, just going to let it run through the night so things can get washed and cleaned and all that kind of good stuff. Going to have the bus fleet nice and clean. I know it looks odd having all these here, but the only things that will fit there, so... We've fitted everything in that we can fit, uh, feasibly fit in. And it's good for us to be fair. Got everything done that we need doing. Just need to get on this now. And then get the last two bus routes for where we are set up. Because every other bus route that we're going to do is going to be from Preston. I say from Preston. We are going to actually have a bus route that is up through Garstang up to whatever this is called. Lancaster. And there's also going to be a bus route that comes this way. Um, we do obviously have to get through Garstang, which is here. And the only way I can add Garstang into the loop is if we literally add... Uh, get up to Lancaster to get a bus route up there. 
I could get the 72 up, and uh, the 42 up, sorry, and put the 42 back the other way. Um, which will be okay. We actually have bus routes coming out already. What bus routes are coming out this? 14, the 18, 9, and the 11. 17 is coming on. I've forgotten when these start, but some of these will go up north. Start. Some of them will be heading to Preston to start. I think that's going to be a, a one that starts at Preston. They're going up the motorway at the moment. They're turning on the new road. And you're going to be starting the day as a 74. We'll ride along on the 74 on the first journey of the day. I don't know what time it leaves. I think it's... Oh, it says 610. It is a long route, to be fair. It ends the service at 7 minutes past to go straight on to the next service at 8 minutes past. And it's getting absolutely rammed straight away. But this has to be a long wheelbase single decker because of the roads it goes down. I think it has low bridges. Yeah. But it's going on its route. Getting all its drop offs done. And its pickups. A lot of them are getting absolutely rammed. Then it's in Polton, and then it's getting absolutely rammed going up to Fleetwood. So, the only feasible way to do this is obviously we might have to add these to get a different route. Not a different route, a different depot uh, to allow more buses on the route. But it got there on time and it literally goes straight back out. And it's a few minutes late to be fair. But hopefully it can catch up on itself. Still about three minutes late. And it's only one minute late. Not bad, but you can see the seven getting absolutely rammed as well. Obviously here it pick it's got a time, so it actually picks up there. That's doing well. Let's see how much money bus routes are making, the new bus routes. So they're only making a few thousand so far. The A91 was our money maker, real big money maker. Um, yeah, everything's starting to stabilise now. The 7, definitely we need to up the 7 to every 20 minutes instead of every 30. I don't think we can do anything else with this. If you look at show timetable, you every every half an hour. We could technically make the 16A and the 16 every 20 minutes. But to be fair, we like I said, we've run out of single decker buses. That's a seventy six. Doing well. Not getting too busy. But these are basically our main routes between Blackpool and Preston right now. We don't have our double decker to go. Uh, through. It's just hilarious how some of these buses uh, end up being roughly on the same times anyway. The next turn goes now. So yeah, the, the timings are good. But yeah, we need to get our double deckers in to get the 61 and the 68 in because they're going to be every 20 minutes. Apparently you can't go anywhere. 
You know what? Let's add a doorway there. And anyone that gets trapped in here can go in and out as well. Doesn't really help when I put a wall of chairs. But yeah. I don't know why I'm still following that bus stuff. Just see how some of these buses get absolutely rammed. The seven's getting rammed because it's every how long it is. Yeah. Have to utilize a lot more. The T24 is making a lot of money. The 24 is Fleetwood. The Blackpool via Poulton. By the hospital, staying in Poulton and Thornton and Cleveland's. That's making a lot. What? Have I done this every 20 minutes as well, I think? When the timetable loads, not every 15 minutes even. Okay, so I put them up very because they're all uh, short wheelbase buses because they're going through some of these tight turns here uh, and going through residential streets. They have to be short wheelbase buses. But yeah, with Leech really now, I'm just looking at getting the main. Blackpool to Preston bus routes up and running because that one leaving Preston right now absolutely rammed. It's absolutely rammed. So let me look at how much it would be. Can I do I have any used double deckers? I could get some used ones and upgrade them. But would you accept 35? You will. You accept 35 as well. You rejected. Because they're all normally 40, four and a half. Okay, we'll see the new bus coming in a second. It's going to be an absolute eight, isn't it? This will be our hundredth bus. in an absolute state. Let's get this renamed. Tops D100. First of all, let's get you repaired and replaced everything. Clean. Upgrade everything. Yeah. Um, how much would it be for... It's going to be like 400 then it, oh, I could actually buy for 10 right now. 10. Yeah. Buy 10 brand new ones. Make sure I get the bus stops in. The stops in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I just have two more to buy. You are one of the new ones. Get you tops D101. I'm waiting for this one to park, pull in. See when I copied it. B102. O3. O4. Get all these numbered. O5. Six. One oh seven. One oh eight. One 
109 and 110. We're literally waiting for 11 and 12. Bonk these down to wait for them. How long is it going to be? Two more. So we should be able to get them today. Go. We've just got one of these as well, which is good. Complete one repair and maintenance. They say you're in repair. Yeah. So hopefully it just does it when that. Yeah, that just does it when that does. Great. Only one more, but every little helps. So this is one, one, one. This is one, one, two. Then at the end of the night, we can hopefully load up the next two buses. Other that one, I need to paint. Leave that up here for now. Because that does need painting. Yeah. But we literally have a full depot right now. An absolutely full depot with nothing else to do. Everything should work and fit in place. And that's all good for us. We literally have no more spots anywhere for any buses to park. In fact, we have one tier. But I thought we could just buy and sell buses to kind of make money easy, but we're making money anyway, so what's the point, really? They should get our, get the upgrade soon as well. Waiting on the upgrades. Great. We'll literally wait until right at the end of the day so we can activate the next two bus routes to go to Preston and back. And once those are in, should be good. Paint you now. See, I've got a paint booth there. I could technically park a few more buses down this way or that way. Um, not that we need them. To be fair, we might end up having to expand this as well to get extra depots. I don't know if an extra depot can add more slots for people. For workers. This is making its way to the paint shop. So is this you walking over for it? Yeah, I think it is. There we go. I'll live Rian and apply. Getting towards the end of the night, but I don't want to be too soon with putting it putting the new routes on. So just in case. How are we doing if we uh, we've got everything else already booked in? So everything should be perfect to so just add these buses on. Hopefully we've got enough to add more onto the line seven as well. Otherwise, we're going to be in a real struggle. Activate the route and activate the route. Oh, you want the bus on the route. Okay. So we don't have enough bus drivers. And we don't... How do we not have enough buses? We should have enough buses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need fourteen more drivers at least. Oh, 
Buses do not have people. Don't know how that's not possible. Okay. So currently, this has already part part of the route already has things covered. I would deactivate that. Okay. So that now adds everything on. Do we have any free busters from this? We have one double decker free. We have one double decker free. Not realise it was going to take up so many busters. And that's before we expand our line seven. That's now getting its upgrades. What we want to see. Might have to just edit things. Network coverage for. Garstang. Apparently we've got some network coverage for Garstang already. I don't see how that's possible. How are we doing on coverage here? First of all, let's upgrade that. Doing 51% coverage in total. Garstang is way over here. So unless he's counting this as Garstang... Don't see how it would be. To be fair, I've not actually purchased a extra depot yet. So let's see how we can do this. I was I saying we were going to put the depot over here? Deepdale Road. I think the bus depot's here. If not, it's now here. 200 and... Wow, that's a lot. So it'll cost half a million. Expansion level three would cost... Six hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, so we need six hundred and fifty thousand to get our next bus depot. And that way we can move the sixty-one and the sixty-eight over that way uh, for the buses. we can time skip but we don't want to um yeah and then i think i don't know how the other bus depots work do we have to build the bus depot again so we're gonna need at least at least a million at least a few million for that to be fair which may take us longer than we think right now they're researching the mobile app upgrade which is good for us All of our buses are good. We'll work it all out.
it is a shame that I won't be able to... I can't split buses between depots. Like, line 74 could start... In, the one that starts in Preston starts over in Preston. And the ones that start in Blackpool start in Blackpool. Shame I can't get that done. The mobile upgrade app upgrade has been done. We do want to expand, but we don't at the same time because we need money. We've added a new bus route in. We've got a lot of ratings to uh, And we just need more and more free seats, which to be fair, we can do by adding more buses. We could shuffle some buses about and get like the 74 and 75 starting in Preston. 61 and 68 starting in Preston. I'll shuffle some buses around for the long wheelbases and double deckers to add more into our network in Blackpool, which is heavily covered. This one that I've not read. Click through the wall. Um, there we go. We don't have anything active on the 61 yet, but that's the quickest one between Blackpool. Guessing this might be a 61. No, that's a 17 starting from over there. Bus driver's just taking the day off, so I want to make automatically stand drivers to make sure we're all covered. Do not have any double deckers over here just yet? We just wait to see any double deckers going over this way, which this one will probably be the 68. Well, the 61, sorry. It's a bit of a mess around here, how they work. Don't know why. But at least we can watch, sit and watch the 61 and see how that goes. They do run every, I think every 20 minutes. It might be every 20 minutes, every half an hour. Okay. They are getting pretty packed. Don't know what they said. Bus routes. One's the yellow one on that one. So, Unif... Brookham, Unified... Ch uh. Other... Yeah. What's the one before? That's Carhill School. Where are we? That's the wrong side. You'll mark it there. That way. 
Then on the other way, Kirkham Unified Church. There we go, it's fixed. And that's the following. Yeah, it's not that bad. It is getting busy though. As every other bus is, basically. Running a few minutes behind time. And now it's a 2C. That is drastically, that is drastic changes. Bus route, buses. Bus route wise, they are still getting packed. So we might have to move them to every 20 minutes. We don't have the buses to cover it. That is still making our most money. As other bus services come in to cover the buses, then that's good. These are getting busy. So our best bet is basically just build another depot. Which we're going to need at least two million for. To get it off the ground. I don't know how depots work. I've never built a depot. That is literally how it's going to have to work, and then we can implement uh, multiple buses right away. You can move the 61 and the 68, the 61, 68, 74, and 75 over to that new depot, which will free up buses for ex making our current network at like the 7 and you other the buses more optimized seven yeah the 16s than the seven that'll be good i don't think we're gonna need any more open top buses because we've kind of got all that covered how is a 20 minute wait time Service center. Only five minute wait time. Wow, we're getting a lot of people buying more bus tickets because we can trust them now. We're going to end up with 30 minute wait time. We're going to end up getting all the phone calls to add. Um, other bus route, or oh, not uh, like add more bus routes, like a uh, rail replacement stuff. That is very busy. I'm basically, just optimizing these routes now. Like I say, the seven I want to make every twenty minutes. I want to get the sixty-eight in, and these three, these other, the, these four in total, to Preston base. That's every 15 minutes. We can't get that any quick, any sooner. Got one of our own bus routes. And our own bus route is making a lot of money, so we can't really change that. I'm just going to have to research some more Preston buses. Unknown caller. No, why are you you're not purchasing a bus? Our buses are our buses, you never sell. stops to win. Are they all in the green?
That one is pole two. We're going to upgrade that. Because that Poulton one is used quite a lot. Everything else seems to be in the green. But for this one... Preston needs... Okay. Okay. All these Preston ones are getting upgraded. Just scanning through these all and seeing what they look like. If they're reasonable, then that's fine. If they're more that that one definitely needs upgrading because they're in the they're in the yellow. Oh wow, that one is upgrading twice. Applies a lot. Everything else. That one we can upgrade because that one's used a lot. North Pier, that's utilized a lot, so we'll upgrade that. Ring Road S. Okay. These Preston ones definitely need upgrading. They were very low. Any others? We're only just gone three quarters of the way through our bus stops. Not good to neglect the bus stops. Apple Transport are currently going through and rebuild and redoing a lot of bus stops. Uh, upgrading them from at least they're at least twenty years old. They're, I, they've been there as long as I can remember. These bus stops, and they've never been re. They've never had new buses bus stops put in. Waterstones that needed upgrading twice. Okay, how is this one actually doing? Not bad, to be fair. So yeah, we just had to spend a lot on bus stop upgrades. But we look like we're going to hit another million day. And obviously as we grow, we're going to expanding this bus, this area as well. Uh, in Preston. Yeah. You see some of these buses just get absolutely rammed. We need a better bus network in Preston. The expenses, staff, 100,000. Internet, 24,000. How is the internet doing? Our internet's doing fine. Maintenance and repairs is getting up there. Fuel is getting up there. Bus stops is nearly 6,000. Rent, one point, nearly two, oh, it's getting up to 2,000 as it was yesterday. Loans, 4,000 and odd. How are we doing on our loans? Have we paid any of them off yet? No. It's better just to not pay them off, to be fair, because they're only taking a little this bit of our budget every day. But yeah, we're definitely edging closer to that. And I will do the research, and hopefully, I think this is the Preston bus depot. Or at least one of them. Um, I think I've walked past it before, and I think that is it. And then we can look at probably adding some Preston bus routes in next episode. Um, don't really know too many Preston bus routes. However, I do know we have to unlock a bit more east. 
I think this is the college over here. Okay. Oh, this is the hospital. Yeah, this is like Preston Hospital. I think it is. Unless the hospital is a bit further over this way. But yeah, there's all this area over here. All, all the bits of Preston, to be fair, needs covering. Lower stock. Lost stock. I think that will need covering. Fuel supplier, don't tell me your fuel's higher. Oh. Due to oversupply, nice. Cheaper fuel, always good. All of our buses starting to go back to the depot for the day. Everything's just start getting repaired and parked up and fueled up and everything. If fuel is so cheap, automatically refuel when you're 95 and we'll refuel the whole, as much as the whole fleet as we can. But no, we'll go one step better. Automatically refuel if it's below 100%. That means every bus is going to be refueled. Over the weekend, I'm probably going to have a look at the buses. Today, automatically assign and select. Auto align and select. So over the next two days, I'm probably going to go through and have a look at everything. Are we going to get every, what, every one of these, a bus in every one? No. We've just got all these for no reason. Still good to have more. Yeah. Everything should start getting refueled. So, next episode, I'm probably going to be back on... It's probably going to be the Monday. I'm going to let the weekend run. I'm just going to let the money roll in. Um, look at any buses that need repairing. Seriously, you come... You need a day off bus driving. Let's just ask you to make sure you're still covered. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. We're getting close to Christmas now. Um, I did actually, if you haven't noticed, got a few more mods, which involves EVs. Now, there's a double-decker EV to get, but I don't have skins for them yet, so I've not been looking into them. And I do know that this one fits 52 pa 59 passengers, and this one fits 52. But if I replace them all with EVs, then just so much more economical. So, maybe we'll look at that in the future, if we get a skin made for them. But until then, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying the series. Subscribe as well if you're new. And then make sure you hit that bell for notifications for every video that goes live every Friday. Uh, but until next Friday, hopefully you have a good week and weekend, whenever time it is you're watching. And I'll see you all next week for the next video.